Hi, I'm Chris at LiftMaster, and I'm going to walk you through the programming steps for the LiftMaster Chem A Frog Underground Swing Gate Operator. Your frog unit will arrive in three separate boxes. The first box contains the gear motor, the arm assembly, the stop bolt, and the installation manual. The second box contains the in-ground case, the gate bracket assembly, and the disconnect assembly. The third box contains the control panel and warning placards. The gear motor mounts into the in-ground case no matter if it's a right-hand configuration or a left-hand configuration, shown here in a right-hand configuration. Once the gear motor is placed, fasten the four nuts onto the four bolts. Top two is shown. Attach the disconnect assembly to the gate bracket and secure with four bolts provided. When the disconnect assembly is assembled to the gate bracket, you can now install the in-ground case. To connect the two together, use the curve arm to connect between the gate bracket and the gear motor. To wire the gear motor power, connect the black and white wires to the N2 and M2 terminals on the control board. This is for a right-hand configuration. For a left-hand configuration, simply reverse the wires. To set up limits, connect both brown wires from the switches to terminal 2 on the right side of the control board. Connect the blue wire that is from the switch at the open limit to terminal FA2. Connect the blue wire that is from the switch at the close limit to terminal FC2. To connect the photo eyes, connect terminal 10 from the IR receiver to terminal 10 of the control board. Connect terminal 2 from the IR receiver to terminal 2 of the IR transmitter and also terminal 2 of the control board. Also place a jumper between terminal 2 of the IR receiver and terminal C of the IR receiver. Connect TX terminal of the IR receiver to the TX terminal of the IR transmitter. Connect terminal NC of the IR receiver to either CX, CY, or CZ input terminal on the control board. Starting with the power off, insert the Security Plus 2.0 radio card into the AF slot of the control board and reconnect power. Press the Learn button on the Security Plus 2.0 radio card and the green LED will illuminate. Press and hold the transmitter button until the green LED goes out. You've now learned a transmitter into the radio card. Now you must pair the Security Plus 2.0 radio card with the control board. To do so, press and hold the Enter button to go into program mode. Go to Users, Add User, Confirm, Related Function 2-7, Waiting Code. At this point, press and hold the Transmitter button and you get a successful acknowledgement of Learn Transmitter. Now you successfully pair the LiftMaster Security Plus 2.0 radio card with the control board. When powering up for the first time, the default language is Italian and there are three errors that must be cleared. Stop, Safety C1, and Safety C3. To set the language, press and hold the enter button for one second to enter programming mode. Select language and choose English. Now scroll to the functions menu and hit enter. Select total stop and either install a normally closed stop button or disable. Here we will disable. CX is set to safety device C1. Either install a safety device or disable. Here we will disable. CY is set to safety UI C3. Either install a safety device or disable. Here we will disable. The three errors are now clear and we can continue to configure the operator. While still in the functions menu, go to config. Hit enter and choose FCAP and hit enter. Change end stop from normally closed to normally open. Now we go to the IMP run menu and hit enter. For a single gate application, change to M2 and hit enter. Also make sure the motor type is set to frog. Programming is now complete. 
Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy your new Cam A Frog underground swing gate operator, supported by LiftMaster, with our new Security Plus 2.0 radio technology.